Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuffs here. Mystery beer. Courtesy my boy, Matt, up, uh, up uh, Buffalo Way. Yeah, he gave me a bunch of mystery beers when that was Beer Tube Palooza. I've ripped through quite a few of them. This is the last one left. Let's see, pull that down just a little bit. Don't want to reveal what's going on, but we want to get that that uh, paper towel out of the way. So let's, uh, let's crack in this sucker. Let's see what we got going on. It is Sunday. It is, I don't know, what is it, like the 5th or 6th of November. Uh, I'm watching the NFL right over there on my iPad. And um, the Dolphins are amazing. I can actually cannot believe how bonkers amazing the Dolphins offense is. Uh, I've waited my whole life to uh, kind of root for a team with a uh, juggernaut offense, and it's kind of surreal. Anyway, uh, what does this look like? It That either looks like super-duper old beer, like old, old, old. It looks like like you put way too much uh, powder in 4C high uh, iced tea, uh, powdered iced tea, or it's got to be some big malt bomb, like a, like a barley wine or something like that, where the head kind of comes off and everything. You know, Matt's been throwing me a lot of curveballs with a lot of, like, weird kind of aged beer. So I'm kind of curious to see what this is. Let's get a nose. Yeah, it just smell. It actually smells like a, a itty bitty beer. Nothing too crazy, big. I'm actually getting like kind of like English mildly vibes off of it. Um, it but it could be also a 15 year old IPA. Um, I, it just soft malts, a little bit of caramel vibes. Done and done. We're just actually just gonna dive in. Cheers. I have no idea. It tastes like somebody's 10-year-old IPA, honestly. The only reason why I kind of uh, hesitate to go full in on it, because the, there's a bittering pop there that's a little bit bigger than something that's 10 years old. And there's really not a ton of oxidation on it. Now, it is a can, so, hmm. Can's going to, if it's prepared right, can's going to hold... Um, you know, negative oxygen out. It really is just a, a, a soft maltiness. You know what I actually might go for on this, oddly enough? Do I go non-alcoholic on this? I kind of want to. I'm just going to go, see now, see now I'm starting to churn. Is this somebody's not alcoholic like Oktoberfest? I don't get that like undercooked doughy thing all that much. It is almost inherent with all non-alcoholic beers. With the way this beer is coming off, with the, the bittering hop that really is, is is quite sharp. And I I know you know a lot of Americanized versions of Marzen's at least this season for me have been. A bit more bittering than I've been used to. Uh, so much so that I'm kind of confusing some of them with like ESBs and stuff like that. It could be somebody's ESB too. Um, talking myself out of that one. I'm gonna stick to my guns. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this is old now. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I think this is somebody's non-alcoholic like uh, Oktoberfest slash Marzen. That's what I think it is. That's it. N.A. N.A. Marzen. Look, what do we got? Can't get to the bottom that way, so. Yeah. That's exactly what the... I, I'm, like, fully confident that's exactly what it's going to be. I have scissors. I do have scissors. Let's see. Oh, scissors makes this easy. It's OEC. It's not alcoholic. It's German brown ale, which is funny because I'm like, it could be uh, an Oktoberfest or it could be uh, somebody's like ESB. It's a German brown ale, 4.8 percent, cool ship oak fermented. Um, yeah, I totally did not get this one right at all in any form or fashion. <laughs> That's the hardest thing with mystery beers. You, you fall in love with being right. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be right. Yeah, 
I mean, honestly, German uh, brown ale, it kind of makes sense. It's a brown ale. There's nothing special about it. It's cool shipped and oak fermented. That's the part that really kind of throws me off because I don't really get any of that in here. Um, there's no kind of woodiness. I guess there is. There's like a tannic tea-like vibe to the hops. I guess that could be kind of propped up by a little bit of wood. Our oak fermented all beer. You know, it's an all beer. It's brewed using a traditional German step infusion mash. So it's step mashed and hopped with the spalt select hops. Fermentation starts in open tanks for one week, followed by oak and blah, blah, blah. They don't, there's no date on here. Because you always see doesn't date their cans. They actually date their four pack holders. They, these come in four pack holders. And they put a sticker on top of the four pack holder. So it's not that they don't date their beers, they just don't date the actual cans themselves. Um, curious to see what the data is in this, so Matt, if you let us know. And um, that was a fun mystery beer. I'm not gonna say this is a great beer. Oddly enough, I picked up the OEC Pills um, today, and I'm kind of pumped to dive in and that sucker. But it's a fun mystery beer. Last well, a bunch. I appreciate them, brother. But yeah, man, it's humid today. It's like November 5th, and it's like almost 80 degrees out, and it's like crazy humid. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a mystery beer real quick. So I sucked, but it was still fun. I appreciate it. Let's talk about mystery beers. Do you guys love them? Let's talk about OEC. Have you been there? I still haven't been there. It's kind of like one of my things where I'm like super bummed I haven't been there yet. Um, and let's talk about, I don't know, beer and Dolphins offense and anything. I don't know. Anyway, we're done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your mystery beer. If you ever want to send some off, reach out. Hope to see you next time. Cheers, y'all.